Hello and welcome to Let's Talk About Tech, a video series by Venonair Capital. My name is Amanda Intelli, your artificial intelligence host. Raising capital for your startup can be critical, considering a startup's runway, mistakes could kill your project for good. This is why in today's episode, I share 5 tips to get funding for your startup. Tip 1. Plan your financing round in advance. One of the most common mistakes is that too many startups start looking to raise money once they have spent all of their cash. This is too late, once you are desperately looking for money, you end up in a very weak negotiation position and therefore are tempted to accept any investment offer, under any circumstances or conditions. A good timeline would be to start searching for investment at least six to nine months in advance, even if you do not currently need cash at this moment. Working with investors requires relationship building, which takes time and trust, so plan ahead. Tip 2. It is all about smart money. Many founders believe that raising money is just about filling your bank account and having a great burn rate, running happily ever after. This is obviously not true. Money alone keeps your project alive for another couple of months, but smart money gives you wings to fly. Smart money also means that a startup doesn't only apply to an investor. An investor also applies to be part of a startup's growth, because he or she can bring special added value to the startup. Tip 3. Profile your potential investors. Venture capitalists and business angels screen hundreds of startups per year and quickly develop a set of criteria, which help them judge if a startup is interesting to invest in or not. According to the Angel Resource Institute, most investors base themselves on the following factors as being best practices in deal screening. Region, most investors have a strong preference to ventures which lay less than two hours flight from their offices. Technological and or industrial focus, investors tend to finance startups in industries where they have strong knowledge and expertise. Growth potential, investors rate market growth potential as top factor when considering a company. This means for some that the startup is already generating revenue and for others that the startup has a viable competitive edge, which will lead to fast market capture. Management team here, basic criteria often include trustworthy and commitment. Furthermore, the team has to be balanced, which means a founding team which includes technical managerial and sales knowledge. Tip 4. A rocking pitch deck. The fundament for raising capital is a killer pitch deck, or in other words, a document presenting your company in a simple and understandable way. Remember, the aim here is to hook the potential investor from the very first look. The pitch deck needs therefore to be extremely clear and concise, one which can be understood by everyone, especially if this person is not familiar with the company's industry. Ten slides are usually more than enough to give the overall picture. Realize that professional investors and analysts do not have more than 10 minutes to decide if your project is worth to dig deeper or not. Tip 5. Take the most out of no's. Let's face it, you will most probably get several rejections during your finding process. Fundraising is just like a sales process, on average, you will need 10 meetings to get to 3 leads, and of these, you may eventually get one investment. According to the Harvard Business Review, venture capital is even tougher. Only a tiny fraction of the total amount of startups applying for venture capital money got investments, lower than 1%. You will probably fall several times in the 98 or 99% of startups' rejection. But that's okay, a good way to approach this is to get as much investor feedback and learn from it. Overall, it is crucial not to underestimate the fundraising process, which requires a lot of effort, time, network, and specific expertise. From our experience, three to six months of intense fundraising has an opportunity cost which is always higher compared to hiring a professional advisory team to work on it. We are proud to have advised successfully more than 50 startups and closed transactions with an overall volume of about 350 million euros over the last years. To find out more how Venonair can help your startup in fundraising, get in touch below. Thank you for joining me. If you found this video informative, please like or comment below and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.